How's it going crew? This is Happy Days and welcome to another episode of the Feature Series where each week we take a look at a different NPC in Terraria and explain how to get it, all the awesome items it has and if it has special requirements to get different items I show you how to actually get them. Today we're going to look at the pirate NPC who's just flown in on his magical ship here and basically what we're going to have a look at is how to spawn him and then look at some of the awesome items he's got and how they can naturally be used to kill some of the bosses as well. Stay tuned and let's have a look at him. The pirate NPC spawns when you successfully defeat your first pirate invasion in hard mode. In hard mode, although if you do take a pirate map to a pre-hard mode world and manage to beat the pirates, you can get the pirate NPC a bit earlier. So the pirate map drops in ocean biomes and a super easy way to get one is just to stand in water and aggro a lot of the ocean mobs onto you. The next thing you have to do is actually use the pirate map out of your inventory and it'll summon the pirate invasion. For a really easy way to defeat the pirates, uh, here's a farm I've used and I'm going to put a link to the description if you want to check out the video where I actually explain how to make this. It's not too hard to beat and you can beat it pretty early on in hard mode. Um, because this farm does all the work for you. Okay, next let's take a look at some of his inventory, Redbeard's inventory, once he's moved into your, your base or themed home or whatever you've made for him. So, two of the weapons he sells, he actually sells turret type things. He sells a cannon and a bunny cannon, which you can place in your base, and I'll demonstrate their use in just a moment. He sells cannonballs which have a absolute ton of damage and they're used with the cannon. He sells a pirate outfit which I don't think I've actually worn before so let's, let's buy it and uh, put it on and change my character into a pirate for this episode. Why not? Now she looks like a pirate. We'll get rid of the shield. Cool, cool. And he also sells sail which is what I've actually used to create the sail on this pirate ship. And it's just like normal wall, guys. It's got like a nice white pattern to it. So if you're trying to use something different uh, in your base building, it's a really good idea to use that too. Okay, so we've got our cannon here. Uh, basically, you just place it like uh, any other placeable furniture object. And at first, it seems like it only faces one way. But you just need to right-click the barrel, not the barrel, the base of the cannon. And you can change the direction you want it to fire in. When you've got cannonballs selected, if you left click it, it actually shoots the cannons and you can hold it down for auto firing. So it's really cool and I've just made cannons fall back down. Luckily the damage doesn't hurt the player and we'll have a look soon at how you can actually use this against bosses and invasions and all that good stuff. The bunny cannon's very similar and explosive bunnies are made by strapping dynamite to bunnies. <laughs> it's so mean. <laughs> like you literally catch a bunny with a net and then put dynamite on it. <laughs> like it's so bad. Anyway, same deal. You can change the direction of the bunny <laughs> cannon by right clicking the base of it. And then with the bunnies selected, you left click and it shoots the bunny out. And it bounces around. This is more like a homing grenade, I guess, sort of thing. And then the bunny will stay stationary for a little while and then explode. Uh, just one thing to note, too, that the bunnies will actually explode as soon as they touch a mob as well. So it can still be used. They do massive damage, 350. So it's a fair bit. All right, let's move on to what you can do when the pirate lives in an ocean biome. For all you pet collectors out there, if you move your pirate NPC to the ocean biome, he actually changes his inventory and adds a parrot cracker to the list. Now, it's a bit expensive, so you might want to use the discount card that you can get from the pirate invasion to reduce the cost, um, because three platinum 75 gold is a fair bit. But when you use it, you get your very own parrot, the pet parrot, and Polly wants a cracker. And it'll follow you around. So if these things have been annoying you during the pirate invasion, now you can tame your very own one and make it your personal slave. I mean pet. <laughs> <laughs> 
One thing you might be interested in trying is playing with the cannon to set up some really easy ways to fight the destroyer. As long as you've got a cobalt shield or a ank shield, but really the cobalt for the knockback is all you need, the cannonballs actually do piercing attacks. So as you can see, it's dealing pretty huge damage to the destroyer. And yeah, you're going to take a few hits, but I've just rigged up one heart statue. And yeah, as you can see, just um, some basic regen. And I'm only wearing tiki armor, so I've only got 40 odd defense. And I was able to kill that pretty quickly with about maybe 50 cannonballs. So yeah, I guess it it's a way you can fight the destroyer as your first mechanical boss just after you've fought the, um, the pirate NPC. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay guys, that's it for another episode of the feature series. Thank you so much for everyone who's putting in your suggestions for which NPC we should have a look at next. Please be patient, I write down everyone's suggestions and if yours doesn't appear next, it's on the list and it will get done, don't you worry. Okay, time for some shout outs as always. We've got Hacky Rules has said, take your time and you'll be fine. Uh, we've also got Joshua Ettel, who's referenced a movie. I love this. I love all the movie references coming in. He's asked me to say in the Joker voice, Why so serious? <laughs> I had to watch the clip to see how his voice went. <laughs> um, Suspicious Windmills asked me to say, May the dwarf be with you. It's a Star Wars reference. I like it. Oshins has asked me to say, Strawberries are good for you. They're pretty good. They, they go all right. And strawberry milk is amazing. Nazi Zombies asked me to say, Brains, brains, brains. Happy walks for days. And to finish off, Caden Ramsey's set of Guardians of the Galaxy reference. And it's like one of my most favorite movies ever. He's asked me to say, I am Groot. <laughs> if you don't know, he's one of the characters in the film. And all he pretty much says is, I am Groot all the time. It's pretty funny. All right, guys. Keep those comments in with your suggestions. Um, leave a like if you've enjoyed this video. And yeah, don't forget this world's going to be available when we finish the feature series with all these cool designs and NPCs waiting for you to play with them. And yeah, subscribe if you haven't yet, guys. We've nearly hit 10,000. I think it's going to happen tomorrow. I'm super pumped. And uh, here's the most important part, guys. Stay happy as always. And this is Happy Day signing out. See ya. Porters just off screen, linking up to the teleporters above the track.